What is that? It's the new Stan Solo Fleet Trooper. Looks pretty nice, don't you think? You let that in the studio? What? Fleet Troopers are vermin. You let one in and soon you'll have an infestation. They're like owls. Owls? My god, it's already happening. You've doomed us all with your stupidity. You will rue this day. In one of the biggest misses of the original Kenner Star Wars lineup in 1978, we were given two troop builders on the Imperial side of things, the Stormtrooper and the Death Squad Commander. And we were even given two alien troop builders, the Tusken Raider and the Jawa. But there wasn't a single troop builder for the good guys to fight back with, despite the Rebel Fleet Troopers being the first human faces we ever saw in the Star Wars saga. The absence of the fleet troopers has inspired endless custom attempts using the Death Squad commander as a basis, and Kenner clearly knew they missed the mark because they would subsequently release the Rebel Soldier and the Rebel Commando for the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi lines respectively. Even still, a Kenner-style Rebel Fleet Trooper has been a dream for many vintage Star Wars collectors. A dream that has finally become a reality with Stan Solo's latest figure release, and these look really good. These are not slight re-sculpts of Death Squad Commander like other attempts, but purpose designed from the blank page. I have that figure right here to show you, and side by side... What the... I could have sworn I had them on the table. Did they fall off? Okay, sorry about that. They were in the other room. I thought they were here on the table. Anyway, if you look at the Death Squad Commander side by side with the Stan Solo Fleet Trooper, you'll see how the new figure is made to resemble the Rebel costume very precisely, which shows how different the two uniforms actually were on screen. The quality of the figure is excellent. The detail is what I would describe as comfortably Kenner in execution. At first glance in hand, I thought he might be a hair too short. But once I had him standing alongside the Imperial Commander and Bespin Luke, I saw he was comparable to the average Kenner figure size. These troopers really pop when you have them in a group, especially against a squad of stormtroopers. I mean, this right here is what a lot of us dreamed of having when we were kids, so we could recreate that incredible opening from the original film, Stormtroopers vs. Rep- I feel like I'm losing my mind. I found them on the floor by the recording room door. I did find it a little odd that Stan Solo opted to design a more accurate blaster for these, as the famous Kenner Rebel Blaster is the original design for that same weapon. But the new weapon is really nice and fits in the figure's hand securely. Stan Solo has knocked it out of the park again with these figures, and any vintage Kenner person would be very happy having these in their collection. As always, Stan Solo has provided a beautiful carded version for mint-on-card collectors. If only Kenner had followed through on their prototype and made the blockade runner, because these would have looked incredible in that vehicle. But that's another dream for another- Oh, come on!